Hello YouTube and welcome, my name is AliensGT and welcome, I am back. Uh, I've been on holiday and because of that I missed the release of week 2. However, I'm here and uh, I'm here to tell you that I just recorded a video in which I beat... Dar is one of Ragnaros's lieutenants. You're close now. He did the animation. Uh, <laughs> I beat Gar. Um, I also lost a Gar in the video, in fairness. Um, but I found a deck that works for it. Um, but because I cocked up the settings, the video was awful. So I'm going to re-record a fight with him. But it's basically going to be showing you how I found is the best way to beat him. Uh, let me show you the deck, actually, before we do this. Uh, I've tried using my uh, uh, Paladin doesn't work. It just lost. So instead I've got a priest deck that I built. Uh, the entire deck relies on the card Mass Dispel. Um, it pretty much makes it, the fight possible. However, um, it's... I don't know. I think priest is the better class for this, but we'll, we will see. And you'll see why uh, priest is a good class for this once the battle begins. Now, Gar has a one mana hero ability, which is deal one damage to all minions. When I saw that, I was like, hmm, sounds, sounds kind of weird, actually. You know, it, it just sounds like he's going to be destroying minions constantly and maybe has weapons that he uses to hit your face and stuff like that. But it's not like that at all. Um, and let me, ju I'll just show you. So let's choose our priest. Now, the deck list for the priest will be in the description or in the Reddit link that I post for this video. Uh, so if you want to see it in depth without a pause video, then you can just check it out there. Anduin versus Gar! Gar! I will rock you. Dum, dum, the light shall bring victory. Okay, this opening hand is worthless. Uh, power shield isn't overly worthless, but I'm gonna... It's basically fish for Master Spell. Power shield again, and two Cogmasters. Interesting. Well, let's rock. Let's rock indeed. Might as well put a cockmaster in. Job's done. Um, basically, he has seven zero fives on the board to start with, and the death rattle is that they deal one damage to your hi hero for each one of them that has died this turn. If you leave them untouched, turn five, he will kill you. So, because it will be. Uh, seven of them dying, and seven times seven is forty. You lose forty-nine health in one turn. You lose. So you have to deal with them. Uh, now I found that master spell is a good way to deal with them because it keeps them. Uh, it makes them all useless, basically. Rock biter. I killed my rock master. But yeah, basically, uh, this battle is hard without silencing. But I actually find that with priest, you can Don't heal them, die. and if you if they die one at a time, doesn't matter. They just do one damage each to you. It's when they die on mass. So uh, is someone injured? Let's uh, heal this one up. Job's done. Get Howard Shield. Lovely. Now he does damage to all of them. You see, these five are now gonna all set to die on the same turn. And he's got a lot of shock, obviously. <laughs> Let us see if this works. Oh, I know. I need to. to still be damaged. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, let's put out a Cogmaster. We'll heal that one up. And end our turn. See that you don't explode. Okay, so these four are set to... to banish. Okay, he's got another Rock Biter. Always good. Does that himself. Takes out my other Cogmaster. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, the battle went a lot better last time. Holy Nova. That will do more damage to us than it will heal, so let's light up and remove this one. In the light's name. And then we're gonna p 
how I'd shield that. I think twice, because these things are really, uh, really quite good against this deck. Uh, uh, for this tactic. And we're going to try and minimalize the damage for next turn, because that's going to... So now those two died, and I lose two health from each of them, because two died. He's got Dark Iron Wolf, which he's going to use to hit face. Interesting. Now, I would say the best option here is to heal this, get the attack buff, put out this. I actually think taking out one of the twos is the better choice. Because that only does one damage to us. And then no. that one dies, we take one damage. I'm assuming he's going to have something... Oh, Bloodlust! <laughs> oh god, he's not had this before. Seven, three, three... Okay, interesting. That hurt. Right, okay. I think our best choice here is t Holy Nova is not actually a good choice. That's really annoying. I'm going to say we heal. Hit that. Get our two dot. Bit of lag, that's my answer. Being wonderful. Now we could... We could Holy Nova, but then we take... Face the light. Right, I think we need to make it so that he has more Um And we'll put the light spawn out. This is probably going to die this turn, but that's not the end of the world. We've got to focus more on the fact that our health is draining. Oh my god. Oh brilliant, it gained the maximum amount of attack it could. <laughs> right. Um, our best option here is we can Holy Nova, Holy Smite and use the Scavenging Hyena to take him out. That's another new card with this expansion of 4 mana, 3 6, gain 1 to 4 attack with overload. So that's a, s a 4 mana, 7 6, and t well, technically 5 mana, so that's really good. Obviously, it relies on some uh, luck. Uh, Light Warden's looking rather powerful at the moment, I've got to say. That's why Light Warden, uh, Light of the Warden is a really good card this game because there's lots of opportunities to get it out and lots of opportunities to boost it. Ready to flee. Yeah, that's game. That's that's how the deck works, but um, <laughs> wait, it doesn't work like that because the idea is around mass dispel. But ideally, you want to uh, silence a board of minions and then you use that to stop him from dealing too much damage. But uh, Instead, this time we've used the Light Warden to just take out hefty amounts of health at once. Yeah, that's basically you should take a how piece it works. of gar with you and skip it across Ragnaros's lava pool. <laughs> you like that? I think the plan is to piss off Ragnaros here, and the card we won. Since, uh, like I said, I already did this, but uh, the recording messed up. So let's show you the card that we got for that, which was a Druid card. Uh, it was here, Druid of the Flame. Choose one, transform into a 5-2 minion or a 2-5 minion. Now, I was talking about this uh, in the first attempt of the recording, and I don't think this is a good card. I don't think it's going to get used. Two reasons. Uh, one, a 2-5 for three isn't all that good. I think, honestly, a 3-4 for 3 is better. Uh, the 2 attack, I think, is just a little too low. And especially considering that's a 2-5 for 3 with no added effect. You know, uh, you've got things like... Um, 
you've got a couple of taunts that are two fives. Uh, you've got the uh, spell warden, the mage card that's a two five. But those are both four. That's four cost, and the uh, um, mech that can't be targeted by spells that's four cost. But I don't think two five is really all that has all that much place without any sort of secondary effect. And a five two, if we look at the closest thing to that, that's a five one magma rager, and those things aren't used. I mean, they're too frail. The only way that a 5-2 minion on turn 3 is going to be any good is if they have nothing on the board. Pretty much. Like, if they have anything else on the board, it's pretty much useless. I mean, it trades in terms of if they have something decent out on the board and you put out a 5-2, they probably have to deal with it. However, holy smite. You know, <laughs> a lucky arcane missiles. A number of things deal with it way too easily for it to really be worth the place in the deck like if it were a token great but it's a card that you're losing by choosing it so I don't know I, I'm I'd be interested to see how people would use it but I don't see how uh, it will fit into an, a particularly druid deck I mean it doesn't have charge doesn't have anything else it just is a 2-5 or a 5-2 and also if it gets silenced it's a 2-2 two, two for 3 so yeah it's I don't know I don't think it's good, but feel free to comment and tell me that I'm wrong, um, because I love to hear from people. I love to see comments. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, or you found it helpful, or you know, you just you just feeling in a good mood, feel free to click that like button. If you want to see more of my stuff, click subscribe. There's also my channel, which has over 130 videos on it for you to check out. Uh, some of them I wouldn't recommend because they're old and embarrassing, but if you want to, you can go have a look at them but uh, otherwise uh, thank you very much for clicking this video and uh, hopefully I will see you next time but uh, until then goodbye for now